So continuing daily with one accord in the temple and breaking bread where? From house to house, Acts 2.46. Preaching is the chief duty in the office of a minister, but it is not his only duty. Thomas Murphy says of pastoral visitation, a prominent part of the pastor's work is to go from house to house and see all the families of his congregation at home. It is expected of him, and justly, that he should occasionally enter into every household, carrying with him the spirit and the message of the gospel. No faithful pastor can or will neglect the duty of pastoral visitation. Is it? It's extremely important. Now, how often should this occur? A schedule should be made, which in turn gives him the ability to reach every family at least three times a year. This is taking into consideration that he has a large enough flock for that kind of a schedule. There should be as little formality as possible in the visit, and the minister should leave with some good impression with them once the visit is completed. The minister in these situations may have some materials he can leave, maybe tracts or short books, and can also be useful in speaking with those family members or friends who are visiting, especially if they're unconverted. Murphy makes note on circulating the best literature available to those who need to read books or tracts. The minister, being in connection with so many people, and in his visitation and public preaching, he should take opportunity to hand out or make known the best literature that will increase the kingdom of God and the lives of the people. In his visitations, the minister will come into contact with the unbeliever, the sorrowful, the aged, awakened souls, but not converted. And in these various situations and many more, he ought to have scripture ready, the tip of his tongue, to be useful in each one of those circumstances. Murphy says that the minister will also be useful in the service of a funeral. This is a time when people are specifically thinking about death and the opportunity ought to be used for the advancement of the kingdom of God. The preacher should make a sermonizing address, one that is at proper length. He should not give too much to eulogizing, and a focus should be on the gospel and salvation. And in all of this, in all of this kind of visitation and extracurricular activity in the pastoral office that the minister accomplishes, the focus should be on the gospel and the focus should be on salvation. He's pressing his people forward towards the prize and winning others, winning souls, being a cure to souls, to bring them into the fold.